Welcome to Cooking at Home with CBC Catering again. And I have another treat for you again today. So, I'm going to show you how to make these awesome coconut clusters so that you can make these for Easter. You can make them for Mother's Day as well, so there's lots of occasions coming up to do them. Very simple, you just need 100 grams of dark chocolate, 100 grams of milk chocolate, well, you can do 200, 200. What it is there is the ratio is one to one. So whatever you do of dark, you must do of milk. And we've also got shredded coconut here, and that's about two thirds of a cup. Now shredded coconut, not desiccated, remember? Shredded is the one that's nice, so it gives it a texture. I do not, please do not melt chocolate in the microwave, gentlemen. No, 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 no. You do not need to melt it in the microwave. We can do it in a pot with a bowl and everything's metal because it's a great conductor of heat. There is no need for microwaves and all of that. So what we're gonna do is make sure that our bowl, when it's boiling, that the water does not hit the base of the bowl. So that doesn't there, okay? And we've also made sure that we've got a metal spoon. Now what I'm gonna do is color the water for you today so that way you can see exactly how much we put in there because it's not too much. So I had about three quarters of a cup there, and we can see that when this boils, there's just no chance that those bubbles are gonna hit the base of the bowl. And that's exactly what we're after. Is if it does, chocolate will burn, and we certainly don't want chocolate burning. So milk chocolate is going to melt faster than dark chocolate, so just remember that. And also make sure that you have an oven mitt or something to hold this with, because we just mentioned before it's a conductor of heat, so guess what? it's gonna get hot. Once that's warmed up, the water doesn't have to be boiling, but if it is boiling, then you can just turn it off and just use the steam. So here we go, this is a simmer. So we can now put our chocolate on, because that steam is going to be enough to get that going. Okay, the trick here, guys, is that as soon as you put that chocolate in, start stirring and do not stop. Now, you will have noticed that my saucepan is quite high and the bowl just sits on the top of it. If my bowl was sort of resting in that saucepan, I'd most likely turn the saucepan off, um, but because it's quite, there's quite a big distance, I'm just going to keep it there. Now, whatever you do, guys, do not get sucked into thinking that you can make this with only milk chocolate. It cannot be done. If you only use milk chocolate, it will be too sickly sweet. You can go all dark chocolate if you like, but not milk chocolate. So the perfect combination, and this will taste exactly like the shops does, um, is one to one, like I said before. We do need to get it all melted and just make sure it drips as such, so there's no lumps in it. However, if your chocolate has gone smooth and then it goes lumpy again, you've burnt your chocolate. So once we know it's ready, once it's sort of, oh, just about there. And the reason why we want to make it a little bit more runny is so that way when it does dry, it's going to be nice and shiny. Okay. So you can see how that is now nice and melted. So we'll take that off the heat. Put our coconut in. Okay, now you can do this lots of different ways. You can make just like a normal cluster. But one of my favorite things to do, which was shown to me by a student actually, is to make little discs. And then if you're giving these away, you can pile up the disc like in five um, and wrap them up. Okay, so to make sure all our portions are correct, I'm just going to use two tablespoons. Um, that would just be a plain cluster, but we want to go a little bit better. So we're going to turn that into a little disc. And the reason why you're using the two tablespoons, as I've said before, is just that make sure that the portioning is all the same. So every chocolate is the same size. You could use nuts with this. You could use rice bubbles with this. It doesn't have to be coconut. Um, rice bubbles is really nice with it. This will be a very similar flavor. I don't know if you guys remember, there's a chocolate called Golden Rough. It'll be very similar to that. 
And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so that's made us about six or six and a half. We're gonna put those in the fridge now for about an hour to two hours until um, they solidify and we're gonna see how beautiful and shiny they are and then I'll show you how to decorate those. But before we go, because the boys always ask, how do we wash the chocolate? How do we get the chocolate off? How, how, how? Seriously, let me show you some magic. And the same way that the heat from the pan melted the chocolate is the same way the heat from the tap, the hot water from the tap is gonna melt the chocolate off the bowl. Okay guys, so we'll see you in about two hours, an hour, and I'll show you the finished product then. Ciao. Okay, welcome back guys. Well, guess what? We've taken them out of the fridge and they are ready and they look amazing. So what we've done, Mrs. Howard and I, we've set up a little Easter theme for you that we thought that this is something that you could do um, come Easter time. But just soon after Easter, there is another little event. And so I'm going to show you another way that we can package this up and that will be for Mother's Day. Um, so I thought that what we could do is put it in a little cellophane bag with some ribbon and I'll show you two ways of presenting these. Okay, here's one we prepared earlier. One cellophane bag. We've got three coloured ribbons and we have a hot punch. So I don't know if this is a thing or not or if it's just my thing because you know, you know me, I'm a little bit of a weirdo, but I always do things, things in odd numbers. So when I'm presenting a, a chocolates or biscuits and things like that, I don't know why, I just do it in odd numbers. So I'll either put three or five in here. Now, these discs, we're gonna lay them flat at the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to wreck one of our little, one of our little chickadees. Is he gonna mind? He doesn't mind. Oh, that one wants to come along for the ride. No chicken, just stay. Okay. So I'll just do this one with three so we can keep our little Easter little decoration going there. So, wash your hands in between because there's nothing worse than when you can see fingerprints all over cellophane or fingerprints on sticky tape. That's a new one, we've never thought of that one before. Okay, now remember, sticky tape, what do we need that for? Well, I'll show you now. Let's get that air out. Just the tiniest bit to keep it still. So what we're going to do is punch a hole in it. And now we're going to put the ribbon through. Now guys, by the time we finish with this, it's going to look so much nicer than a box of roses. Mum, grandma, anyone really. They're going to love you for it. Haven't finished yet, don't go away. But I do need my glasses for this one. And one more ribbon. Now the ribbon that we're just using here is just normal curling ribbon, so this is found anywhere. Now, pair of scissors, using the blade. On the, the side that's not shiny, you're going to put the blade, your thumb on one side, the blade on the other, and you're going to pull. And you have a curl. Check that out. Again. Okay, so thumb on one side, thumb on the shiny side, the blade of the scissors on the, uh, on the um, dull side, and then we pull. Okay, be quite firm, but not too hard, but firm. Let's just say you made a mistake like I have here, and I think the, ba the bag is too big, what are you going to do? You know what? Let's not waste a bag because that's going to be 150 years for that to break down. What we're going to do is be clever on how we present it.
And there you have it. Now, seriously, is that not nicer than a box of roses? I think so. I think I'd like that for my birthday or Easter too. Have a great one, boys, and I'll see you back soon. Ciao.